Welcome to Royal Secrets. Following a story suggesting that Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan had ended their marriage, thousands of Facebook users commented on the couple's union. News shock. The divorce papers have now been signed by Harry and Meghan, according to a post on the Mikkel Manas page from June 16. The post, which received more than 900 shares and 4,000 comments in less than a week, includes a video that is about nine minutes long and explains why the couple's marriage is allegedly in trouble. Among the reasons given are that Harry felt suffocated by Meghan's control and wanted to flee. Harry, the Duke, and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, have been candid about the difficulties they've encountered, including conflict over their choice to resign from their roles as royals and relocate to the United States. However, as other commenters pointed out, there is no proof to back up this assertion. Harry and Meghan have not announced their divorce or plans to do so, and neither have they or any media outlets. USA Today requested a response from the page that first made the claim. There is no proof that the Duke and Duchess are divorced. The assertion that Prince Harry and his wife Meghan are looking for a divorce is unfounded, according to independent fact-checking websites PolitiFact and Check Your Fact. Prince Harry and Meghan have not filed for divorce, according to any reliable news sources or members of the royal family. There is also no mention of a divorce on the couple's sole social media account, an Instagram account with the handle at Royal. The Facebook post that makes this assertion has no supporting information and even contradicts itself. The video itself states that there is no concrete evidence to substantiate the assertion that the couple had signed divorce papers, despite the title of the post claiming they did. The video's narrator claims that the signing of the divorce papers is only a media rumor. The royal couple hasn't confirmed, yet. However, analysts claim that it may be concealed or that it will occur shortly. Recent public appearances by the pair include the Platinum Jubilee, a celebration of Queen Elizabeth II's 70 years as monarch. As they entered St. Paul's Cathedral, they were captured on camera holding hands. Other rumors about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have also been refuted by USA Today. We evaluate the assertion that Prince Harry and Meghan have executed divorce documents as false based on our investigation. The couple's divorce or separation plans have not been confirmed by any reliable sources. The pair has not confirmed the story, according to the lone source for it, a Facebook page that claimed it was only a rumor in the video that accompanied the post. The unique friendship between Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie sets them apart from other royal family members. The granddaughters of the late Queen shared a touching statement about their close relationship with the late monarch. The children of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, have a unique closeness that sets them apart from other senior members of the royal family. The sisters, unlike other moms like Kate, Princess of Wales, or Sophie, Countess of Wessex, have traditional careers in addition to their royal responsibilities, which they must balance with parenting, just like their husbands. According to Hello Magazine, Eugenie, 32, works full-time at Hauser & Worth a gallery that exhibits both established and up-and-coming artists, as well as modern art from all around the world. August Philip Hawk Brooksbank, the princess's kid with her husband Jack Brooksbank, is one year old, and he is being raised by the princess. Since 2016, Princess Beatrice has served as vice president of partnerships and strategy for the digital business Affinity. Prior to that, she worked as an associate at the investment firm Sandbridge Capital, and before that, she worked for Sony Pictures Entertainment as an intermediate coordinating producer. Beatrice and Adorno Mapelli Mosey are parents of a one-year-old girl named Sienna Elizabeth Mapelli Mosey. Vice President of Partnerships and Strategy at software firm Affinity is Princess Beatrice. Our precious granny, they cried. Since you left us all, we haven't been able to express ourselves very well. The collective loss for you, our beloved queen and our beloved granny, has been felt. There have been tears and laughter, silences and chatter, hugs and loneliness. Like many others, we assumed you would stay here forever. And we all sincerely miss you. You served as our matriarch, our leader, and the gentle hand that guided us through this life. You taught us so much, and we will always be grateful for those lessons and memories. The princesses, like the queen's other grandkids, spent idyllic summers in the Scottish Highlands with the late monarch when the royal family gathered every year on the Balmoral estate. 
you, being you, will never realize the influence you have had on our family and so many people throughout the world, they continued, giving a nod to the queen's modesty. Beatrice and Eugenie mentioned that the queen will be reunited with the Duke of Edinburgh, her husband of 73 years who passed away just 17 months prior. We're thrilled that grandpa has brought you back. We are very proud of you, dear granny, and it has been the honor of our life to have been your grandchildren, they said. They also praised their beloved Uncle Charles for taking up the throne. We are confident that because he has devoted his entire life to service, beloved Uncle Charles, the king, will carry on in your footsteps. God protect the king, cried the sisters. With our love, Beatrice and Eugenie, the princesses concluded their letter to the queen.